completed our EIC checklist, which was very simple, and we are on to what I believe to be the most important form in the tax return, which makes sure that the return gets e-filed, makes sure that you get paid, um, how much you get paid, and so forth. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to select our federal return type. Basically, how does the taxpayer want their money back? click on the drop down anything with TFS or TPG or one of our other banking partners in front of it means that you are adding a bank product if you do not add a bank product let me show you what happens here and I click say or next uh, we don't care about that we click save this massive message pops up in front of you and I will promise you inevitably as uh, sure as the sun comes up tomorrow, somebody will do 30, 40 tax returns bypassing this, thinking that they're adding a bank product and not add the, the bank product. And this message pops up twice. So please, please pay special attention to this message. If you are not printing out bank documents and you are not seeing bank fees corresponding with the tax return, you are not adding a bank doc application. If you are not also adding in the TFS or the TPG or one of our other banking partners in this list, then you are not doing a bank product and your fees will not be withheld from the tax return. So I'm going to click TFS ERC, which is a check. ERD is a direct deposit. The other is a debit card. Click Next. Our preparation fees will pop up here. I'm going to put in 100 bucks um, or 200 bucks or whatever the case may be. AMP is on here. We don't have any custom fees or custom discounts in this. So I'm just going to now click next. This would be the 7216. Right behind that comes the uh, ID information. So I'm going to put in the driver's license. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to put in their expiration date or issue date. Sorry expiration date and the state I'm gonna click save and I screwed up what did I do taxpayer must be 18 years or older sorry I changed the date um, so let me go back and fix that so as I'm sure you can tell that was a, a planted error just so I could show you guys how the program is going to keep you from making mistakes and doing anything you shouldn't or leaving anything incomplete. So what that was popped up. That was a validation error. I screwed up. I changed something. Forgot that I had changed it. Went in, tried to submit a bank product. Got to be over 18 to make a contract. So I went back, changed it, and now we should be good to go when I click this save button. And save takes us on to the submission page. And I'm going to cover that in a separate video coming right up.